And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex, and this is a video on the Mu Drive. Yes, the MD1. MD1 from Moztronics. Andrew. And uh, thanks very much to Andrew for sending this up to us all the way from Melbourne. Yes. Uh, this is a, I'd say it's an overdrive, but heavy overdrive. Yes, yes. Definitely. <coughs> so, I mean, I don't know a huge amount of stuff about all this, as if you watch this a channel, you know, you know about this. Uh, so it is basically, I think it's based on a Mu amp, M-U amp, Mu amp, mm. uh, which is basically a circuit that was developed for pedals that kind of replicates an amp building, the building blocks that make up an amplifier, but using JFET transistors. Transistors. <laughs> yep. Instead of valves. So it's basically like a, a, a like, a, a, an amp in a pedal. Like a preamp type. Like a preamp type pedal, yes. Right. But I before, hope that's actually correct. <laughs> for all intents and purposes, it's an overdrive, overdrive distortion pedal. pedal. Yes, exactly right. With, with a kitty on the front. Now, um, and it's named after oh, yes. the uh, uh, what, 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 three-legged three -legged cat. cat. So Andrew's got a three-legged <laughs> rescue cat who supervises all the quality control that he does. Yeah. Uh, and it's... Um, and in honor of her scratching all the furniture, it's called Mew Drive after her, that's, the cat. That's so hello, sweet. rescue cat. Um, now the controls are per, which is uh, gain. Yeah. There's treble, bass, and mid, which is a standard three-band EQ, like on an amp. And the volume is of output level. Yes. Uh, oh, set up today. I've got a Sire S7, and you got a Fano Blue thing. On this MGC. That's what I said. Going through <laughs> the Mew Drive into. <laughs> Another Mozzotronics yes. box, which is the AS1 amp switcher. There will be a video on that eventually. Yes. Yeah, we'll get to it. Um, OTS Mini 20 is the amp from Mozzotronics. Sorry, no, what's the other one? Cherry. Cherry tone. tone. Too many words. Isocab with the Celestian Greenback. Lewitt MTP440 microphone. Lewitt people. Uh, Torpedo Captor X from Two Notes doing IRs as well. It's all blenderized together. And there's a video for the Captor X here. And hello to Jason and Guillaume from the Two Notes. Yes, so... The clean tone. You start? On, sure. Yes. Come on. On the A minor chord. So let's start with everything at 12 o'clock, usual thing. It's a pretty meaty drive. It's very meaty, mm. once you hear it. Bad for vegans. <clears throat> Like that sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really need to do anything else. What about a touch bot? Touch bot? Touch bit. <laughs> touch bit of delay, please. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we've got this uh, uh, Ibanez AD 150. You can kind of just see it here, and I shall switch it on now. Mm-hmm. 
It's very fat. I think I may have bent it out of tune. You would have, would you like to play? Okay. <laughs> Uh, and there was also a tiny bit of reverb from the Captor X, which I'll turn off now. So this is all dry again on this lovely fanner on this MG6. Uh, there's a video for the unboxing video of that here. Uh, and uh, with the G chord on the bridge pickup, it sounds like this. That's loud, isn't it? Do you want me to turn up this Hi. down a bit? Is it still out? Yeah, that's cool. Clipping stuff? That's a great rhythm. Fat. Rock thing, isn't it? Super fat. distortion. Great. What did you just do? All the bass and treble off and the mids are cranked. Oh, that's why it doesn't sound as good as it did before. <laughs> Aha, sucker. Before it sounded really good. Sucker. Whatever it was on before sounded great. That's really good. It's almost for me, it's... A it's less of a lead thing, it's more of a rhythmy kind of drive. Big chunky rock riffs. Big chunky rock, because I mean, let's do a little bit of delay. It's more that kind of blown out, bluesy kind of lead sound. Mm. We could get Duma stuff too, I think. Duma stuff too, yeah, but, yeah. but just for that. Chordy stuff. Mm. That's and it's no definition. Like that's why I was doing all those kind of with the open string. That sounds great. Okay, G style. The, uh, daily. It's an echo. I really like this mid range control. It's really nice, like nice point of. Frequency land. This is the best thing ever. I've got control <laughs> over this, so it's great. And so on and so forth. That's cool. Whatever that frequency in the mid range is, Andrew, that's fantastic. It's maybe one of my favorite mid controls ever. Well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, let's try it on this uh, totally not authentic um, <laughs> Sire L7. When we pretend that we're dead. I'm going to do that every time. That, 
Band L7 from the 90s. Anyway, uh, this is a clean sound. To me, that's just one of the best sounding kind of rhythm distortion sounds I've heard in ages. Will it do the scoop thing? It's not tight enough. Yeah. But it's pretty cool that the scoop mid. So what were you saying? No, I was just going to say. Uh, for me, it is a, a, a like a somewhere in between an overdrive and a distortion, riffy, fuzzy overdrive, fuzzy overdrive, riffy yeah. kind of sounding thing. Um, it's the, the the lead stuff is too. It's like it is like a little amp. It has that kind of uh, almost blown out kind of thing, which yeah. has a place too. Which you know the more bluesy thing, not necessarily my thing. Actually, you play. I want to try something. Mm I know, I brought it today because I, I wanted, I thought instead of the baritone I bring this because it tune is to C standard. Oh, did you? Cool. Just to see what it sounds like. So this is my um, Squire J Maskis, quite heavily modified with different pickups and state trim stuff, and but, but it's a killer guitar. And clean in C standard, hopefully in tune C standard tuning, hmm. uh, uh, it, with a C chord then I guess, sounds like this. <laughs> Sounds in tune. So let's see how it holds up to lower tunings for like the doomy stuff. It sounds great, I reckon. Aha, now. Yeah. Super tuned, low tuned, kind of blue strings. Yeah. Super. What is that? It's like an eleventh. Is that an eleventh? Eleven. Seven. Seven at eleven chord. Is that what? I dig it. Can we just very quickly, yeah, just very quickly see what it sounds like pushing a driven amp with it? Sure. Is that 
same C standard tuning guitar into the driven channel, which sounds like this. Let's, let's, let's push it. blown out but it sounds cool it's a that's a cool sounding drive it's pretty versatile too yeah yeah nice so that's a new drive uh mm. there'll probably be some more videos with this coming up i reckon we'll compare it to other pedals and find out do a few different things with it but what other new drives there are yes mm. yes but I, I i dig i like good cool good andrew two thumbs up from me <laughs> good I andrew like <laughs> yeah, well, th Andrew. Thanks, mate. It's really cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, links below to Instagram, Facebook, and a podcast. Check yes. Them out. Check them out. Yes, please do. All right. Comment below too. What do you think? What are your thoughts on the Moo Drive? Do you dig it? Do you dig the kitty? Mm. I dig it. I totally dig it. Hashtag I think that's that's one kitty. of the for that sort of rhythmy kind of playing. Mm. One of the better drives I've played in a while. So fun. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching, and um, see you soon. Check it out.